So we've been joined now by Gary Brecker. I think the easiest thing, Dana, explain to, to the audience who Gary is and why he's so important to you. Yeah, so Gary Brecker is a human biologist, and, and I met him uh, through, a, through a longtime friend of mine. So I ended up finding out that he was a mortality expert. So he could tell you when you were going to die, and he would be right within a month or so. I became obsessed with this. So that was all I cared about. So he finally talks me into coming out, and he starts going through my blood work, and he starts telling me everything that's wrong with me with no medical history whatsoever on me. So this is kind of blowing me away. Then he told me what was wrong with my parents, and he was right. So basically, wow. he, he ended up getting me. And he says to me, uh, give me 10 weeks. I promise I'll change your life. So I said, all right, I'll commit 10 weeks to this thing. And to say that this guy has changed my life is the understatement of, of, of the century. I mean, I, as, as I got to the 10-week point, I started to feel like I was in my 30s again. And now I've been with him a year and a half, and I'm not kidding you, I feel like I'm in my 20s. My, my, my level of productivity at work, my, my cognitive, my physical, I mean, just everything. This guy is a genius. Well, before I come to Gary, just quickly, how long did he say you had to live <clears throat> if he hadn't changed things? He, yeah, he gave me 10.4 years. And wow. what's, what's crazy about that is he gave me 10 point... He said, if you stay on this trajectory that you're on, you're going to live another 10.4 years. And me and my wife both disagree with him. I actually think I wouldn't have made it 10.4 years if I hadn't met him. Let me bring in Gary. So, Gary, I mean, that's one of the great marketing pitches I've heard. In a, in a very short... Yeah, it absolutely is. <laughs> right, in a short nutshell, what have you done to Dana to make him so enthusiastic and to, in his eyes, prolong his life? I mean, so Dana had a common precursor for cardiovascular disease called metabolic syndrome. It's actually the leading cause of cardiovascular disease, which is the leading cause of death worldwide. And it's a combination of, of five things, abdominal obesity, um, low healthy cholesterol, low HDL cholesterol, elevated insulin and blood sugar, um, elevated cholesterol, and hypertension. And to have any two of those five, is considered to have, meta, you know, you're considered to have metabolic syndrome. It's something you should get addressed. It's why I think everybody should get data on their bodies. He, got, he started exercising again. He went on a keto reset diet. Um, the majority of what Dana did was really what Dana did himself. Um, and what were the key these things? Are, these, just quickly, Gary, what were the key things that, that Dana changed in terms of diet, which made a big difference? So we, we did three thing, big things with Dana. We did hormone balance. We did nutrient deficiencies, um, and we did glycemic control, or control his blood sugar. So he went on a strict um, keto reset diet, which is a very strict, I call it a prescription keto diet, meaning you have to eat exactly what is on this plan morning, noon, and night um, for 10 weeks, or this situation could get a whole lot worse. So he went on a strict keto diet. He had a strict um, exercise and workout routine. It's fascinating. Uh, I've got to... I've got to, unfortunately, wrap it up. It is fascinating. I don't know whether to see you or not, Gary, because what I don't want to hear is you look at me and go, Piers, unfortunately, uh, you're leaving us next Tuesday. <laughs> I can fix that. And, you know, we'll push it out a couple thousand Tuesdays. Dana, it's been brilliant. Uh, honestly, I've, I've had such a fascinating time uh, going over your life, your extraordinary career, your amazing achievement with UFC. My sons, I started with this, I'm going to end it. They're all massive UFC fans. They're all very excited about this interview. The first question they're going to ask is, Dad, how did you do? Did Dana think you were any good? That's all they'll care about. So what's the verdict? <laughs> Incredible. Great interview. It was a pleasure. And uh, tell your boys thank you. I really appreciate the support. Dana White, what a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. Likewise. Thank you.